On today's video, do you guys practice with your broadheads? Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Now, if you guys out there are bow hunters, you know how important it is to practice with your bow. Whether that's a, a vertical bow, or a cross bow, a recurve, whatever it is, you guys know, very important to practice with it. There's a lot of time, money, and effort that goes into that moment of truth when we're actually going to fire on a live animal. So we really want to give ourselves the best opportunity for success when that moment comes. So we practice. Practice. We talking about practice? Practice. If you know who I'm being, leave a comment. Anyways, but for most of us, that means shooting field tips or field points. Right? These, uh, these field tips or field points are not meant for killing animals. They are meant for practice. Now a lot of us bow hunters are deer hunters and when we go out hunting for the deer we're going to replace these field tips or field points with some kind of a broadhead, right? Something that is actually designed for hunting deer. But do you guys practice with these broadheads? Not all bow hunters practice with their broadheads. Some guys will tell you, oh no, my, my broadheads, they, they shoot the same as my field tips. Well, you don't know that unless you shoot them, all right? And some guys will say, oh, I, I shoot the same grain field tip as my broadheads, meaning the same weight field tip as the broadheads, which I would highly recommend doing that, okay? You do want to have your practice tips or your field tips, field points, be the same weight as the broadheads that you're going to be hunting with, but that does not mean that they're going to fly the same. Some guys will tell you, I don't want to practice with my broadheads because it just uh, wrecks the target, chews the target up, and it dulls the blades. All right. Well, a lot of uh, different styles and types of broadheads will come with a practice broadhead. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick time out right here with a word from Camaro's Crawlers, okay? Ronnie Camaro is a good friend of mine. He's the owner and president of Camaro's Crawlers. And we have a little partnership agreement. I come on my videos and I read some of the different ads and some of the specials that he's got going on. Okay, And he wanted me to read this uh, in one of, uh, one of my hunting type videos. Alright, anyways, Ronnie wanted to remind all the deer hunters out there that he is carrying rut starter trophy blocks. Okay, That's the only deer block that's made with Viagra. All right. Don't wait for Mother Nature to start the rut. Give your bucks rut starter trophy block with Viagra. And he also wanted me to let you guys know that starting this year, he is also carrying promiscuous doe, doe urine. It's the only doe urine taken from the most sexually active does. Hey, and you guys know that is the best way to attract the most bucks, right? With a doe urine that's only taken from the most sexually active does. All right. So get on down to Camaro's Crawlers, pick up your rut starter trophy block made with Viagra, get that out in the woods, and then when you head out hunting, take your promiscuous doe, only doe urine that's taken from the most sexually active does, spread that around, and that is going to be a lethal combination for you guys. Okay, so get on down to Camaro's Crawlers and pick up those two items. For more videos on rut starter trophy block and promiscuous doe, doe urine, I have a couple links in the description below, but now back to the video. Here's a, a Rage slip cam when it's opened up, you know, on an expandable broadhead. 
Uh, this is it when it's closed up before you fire it. And this particular type of Rage broadhead does come with a practice broadhead. And of course this practice broadhead should be the same grain or the same weight as the hunting broadhead that comes with it and they should fly the same. Okay, should. It's kind of been my experience that not all practice broadheads actually fly the same. All right, uh, here's another uh, style. This is a fixed blade. This is an old four blade muzzy. Uh, gosh, I, I think I was hunting with those back when I was in my 20s. And I remember thinking it was pretty cool. They did come with practice blades, you know, for shooting into your target. All right, uh, here's another style of expandables that uh, I hunted with for a long time. This is just a, a real cheap Cabela's brand. And they didn't really come with a practice uh, tip or a practice broadhead. But what I did is I took an older one uh, that I had shot a deer with and I just glued it shut. You can see I painted it green and then this became my practice broadhead. And of course, because it actually was a hunting broadhead at one time, it really does shoot the same uh, as the hunting broadhead. And there's a three blade muzzy. These are kind of the ones I've been shooting for a few years now. I, I go back and forth between expandables and fixed blades. But uh, yeah, these three blade muzzies, they also do come with practice blades. All right. But again, I, I, I don't even really trust that completely. So what I do is I do take one broadhead, maybe that's uh, that I've shot a deer with before, or I just designate one that I'm going to shoot into the target and, and make sure it shoots the same. And I actually took this one, I put some magic marker on it just to make sure I didn't uh, accidentally go out hunting with it because the blades do get dull, there's no doubt about it. Now, I've had a lot better luck with expandables shooting a lot closer to the same as the field tips, right? But, but it's also been my experience that they don't shoot exactly the same, okay? So just keep that in mind, guys. I, I know a lot of guys like to say, oh, I shoot expandables. I don't have to practice with those because they shoot the same as field tips. I, it, that's really not true. It's, it hasn't been my experience. I'm not saying it can't be true, but I really do like to have a practice broadhead, okay? I, th I think that's very important. Um, even if the type of broadheads that you have don't come with a practice broadhead, just designate one as the practice broadhead. Now I'm not telling you that your expandables or your broadheads, even if they're fixed blade, don't shoot the same as your field tips. They very well might. But some guys kind of assume that they're going to shoot the same as their field tips, and that's not always the case. You just got to shoot them, and you just got to shoot them and find out. Okay guys, quick recap. We're going to do the bulk of our shooting with our field tips, or our field points. That's going to be a great time to make sure our equipment is working right and that we're totally comfortable with it. Then, if the type of broadheads that we're going to be hunting with come with a practice broadhead, we're going to want to take a few shots with that. Just make sure that we're still sighted in real good with our practice broadhead. And then, if you're like me, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take a couple more shots with the same style of the broadhead that you're going to be hunting with. Not the same broadhead, because you will dull the blades by shooting it. But like I said earlier, this broadhead is designated for practice. I put some magic marker on it. The blades are dull. I don't actually want to go hunting with this one, but it is the same style that I will be hunting with. And if I take a few shots with this one, and I'm good and sighted in, I know I'm good to go. Because we don't want any surprises out there. Again, guys, it comes back to all that time, money, and effort that we put in getting to that moment of truth, you know, give yourself the best opportunity for success. You know, it, it, it really can make a difference to shoot those broadheads. At least prove to yourself that they're shooting the same. And if they're not, well, then you're going to be really happy you uh, took a few practice shots with your broadheads because now you're going to be able to make adjustments and get those sighted in just right and get that deer, right? Okay. All right, guys. Hey, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Kinetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.